Hey, what's going on guys? Lawson with Custom Offsets. Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. We got another spotlight for you guys. This time it's going to be a 2016 GMC Denali sitting on 7 inches of lift, some 24s, and some 35s. Let's check it out. The negative 81 is... Oh my god. really quick before we hop into it we are doing another giveaway pick up this hoodie or t-shirt customoffsets.com forward slash giveaway get yourself a chance to win tis wheels toyo tires bds suspension road armor front bumper and a black label lighting rock light kit get you looking nice just like this guy so hopping right into it in order to fit this wheel and tire package on this denali obviously we had to lift it this is going to be the seven inch rough country knuckle uh, lift for this Denali. Now the reason why it has the strut spacer kit is because it utilizes the factory Magno ride uh, on these Denali's. So he ended up having to go with the knuckle kit, seven inch spacer, which is how you achieve the lift. Also got the rough country upper control arms, which is a huge addition as well. Usually when you guys are going this big, you know, you start pushing over six inches, your angles start to get all droopy and not look so hot and you start to blow up ball joints. Uh, this upper control arm is definitely going to help out a lot with that. So, like I said, he did get the Rough Country 7-inch knuckle kit. He is also sitting on a 3-inch body kit. Now, you guys know our takes on body kits. We're not a huge fan of the whole body kit thing. But luckily, he bought it like that. It already had the 3-inch body kit on it. All right, so now next up, moving into the wheels and tires. He's sitting on the Chrome 2415 negative 51 Vision Rockers. Uh, really dig this wheel. I've always been a huge fan of this wheel, but to see it in chrome looks so good. It looks really, really good on this white paint job on the Sonali. Also does have the black spike lugs as well. And then he's actually rocking some Aturo Trailblade XTs in a 325-45 R25, which accumulates to about a 35, 35 and a half inch tire. So now moving down the side, he does have the factory steps on the side. Now, if you guys see, he does have like an iridescent color shift of vinyl along the side. He's got it all the way from the top uh, on the fender, all the way along the side, and it's the whole top. Trying to get like that two-tone, but didn't do the whole top, only did like a stripe down the side. Kind of unique, kind of dig it a little bit. He does have it on the door handles as well. You guys do see he does have the Bushwhacker fender flares as well, which you guys can get on our website, customoffsets.com. And then moving along the back, the only thing that is going to be different in the rear is going to be that V-style block from Rough Country. Uh, and that pretty much sums it up for that. Up to the front, he did get some tint. It looks like he did go darker than factory. Uh, so a little bit darker tint on the back window and the whole side windows. Uh, he's also got the rain visors up top as well. He did put a tinted brow on the front as well. Didn't tint the windshield, just went with a tinted brow. Kind of dig that look as well. Moving into the front, he did stick with the factory headlights just because those Denali GMC headlights look so good. So he did stick with the factory headlights and then ended up going with an aftermarket grill as well. And then ended up doing a little bit of a wrap job uh, over the Denali uh, on the grill. So overall, a solid start to this guy's build. Once again, this is gonna be a 2016 GMC Denali sitting on a seven inch lift with a three inch body lift, 24, 12, negative 51 uh, vision rockers in the chrome, and then a 35, 35 and a half uh, R24 uh, on the Eternal Trailblades. If you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, or accessories, customoffsets.com. We'll see you guys in the next one.